If you're installing a DAB digital radio or adapter in your car or van, you'll need a suitable DAB car aerial. A DAB windscreen aerial is a relatively cheap and easy to install option. In this video, we'll look at these aerials and install one in a car. DAB windscreen aerials are also called glass mat aerials or film antennas. They're quite cheap, can be installed fairly easily and don't need any new aerials or wires on the outside of a car. There are a few checks to do before buying a windscreen aerial. First, if your car has a heated or polarized windscreen, the performance of a DAB windscreen aerial could be affected. A magnetic aerial on the roof might be a better option. Check the connector on the aerial is compatible with your device. Some radios have a screw-on connector, which is known as SMA, while others have a push-fit connector, which is known as SMB. Adapters are available if you've already bought or fitted an aerial. They're often sufficient if you drive in an aerial with good DAB coverage. You might benefit from a magnetic or permanently installed roof aerial if signals are poorer in your area. Finally, check if your radio comes with an aerial. Some DAB adapters come with a specific aerial which is only intended for that adapter. We're going to install an Autolead DAB film antenna to use with a Sonichi S100 in this Vauxhall Corsa. These types of film aerials have a long wire to connect to the radio, an earth strip which is fixed to the car bodywork, and the antenna itself. Before starting, read the instructions for the aerial. This type of aerial is installed on the passenger side of the windscreen so that it's not in the driver's vision. This particular aerial has two wires, one for the DAB signal and one for power. The A-pillar trim needs to be removed first. Some cars have an airbag behind this piece of trim. There will often be writing or a badge like this. As this is an important safety feature, you should consult a garage or an audio installation professional for the next few steps. This car does not have an A-pillar airbag. The trim piece pulls away from the car starting at the top. Some of the rubber door seal may need to be pulled away first. The trim piece can then be lifted out of the dashboard. Before fitting the film part of the antenna to the windscreen, we need to make sure the glass is clean. Some aerials come with a small wipe, but you could use car window cleaner. The surface needs to be dry and free of dust. Also make sure the metal bodywork is clean for the earth plane strip. Some retailers recommend sanding or scraping part of the A-pillar back to bare metal for the earth strip. The fitting guide for this particular antenna mentions mounting to a clean painted metal surface. Now we need to find the correct position for the DAB aerial. The adhesive is strong and once it's stuck to the window it won't be possible to peel it off and try again. The aerial should be positioned so that the earth strip reaches the metal surface and there's also a gap between the antenna and the top of the windscreen. Enough space needs to be left for the A-pillar trim to go back between the bodywork and the plastic part of the aerial. With the position chosen, we can remove the sticky pad backing and hold the aerial in place on the windscreen for about 30 seconds to ensure it sticks. You may find it easier to stick the base to the windscreen first, then peel the backing from the antenna part. Remove the backing from the earth plane strip and make sure it sticks to the metal surface. Now the cable can be routed down the A-pillar. You could use insulation tape to hold the cables in place. There is a gap at the bottom of the A-pillar on this car for the cables to drop down into the footwell. You may need to remove a further piece of trim or the glove box if the wires don't drop through. If your aerial has two wires like this one, they could be taped together temporarily to save feeding the second cable through on its own. Plug in or twist on the connector onto the radio. This DAB windscreen aerial has an SMB female connector, which is compatible with the SMB male connector on this Sonichi DAB adapter. As this is an active aerial, it should be powered with a 12 volt feed. If your radio or adapter has an option to provide power through the coax wire, you can enable this setting and ignore the separate power wire. Alternatively, the thin power cable can be connected to a 12 volt source, such as that provided on the back of car radios for powered aerials. 
This should be a simple task for a garage or auto electrician to complete for you if you're not confident with vehicle electrics. Before replacing the A-pillar trim and securing any cables, it's worth checking that you can receive DAB stations on your radio or adapter. Once you've performed a scan and can receive those stations, the trim, door seal and other pieces can be refitted. If the trim piece has little or no gap with the glass, you may wish to file out a small space for the cables to pass through. For more information about DAB windscreen aerials and installing one in your car, check out our website digitalradiochoice.com. We have a step-by-step -step guide with details and pictures, plus links to buy DAB windscreen aerials. If you have any questions about your own DAB installation in your car, please leave a question below and subscribe for more videos like this.